What's up everybody, Drew right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Red or Not because they just keep releasing a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Well, it's not necessarily behind the scenes because there's just a bunch of people that are just sharing it. So I thought that I'd just make one big video about all the stuff that they've been showing off the past couple of days. Just pack it all into one video because I think there's enough to actually just do the whole thing. So we're going to start off from the top here. Navarro ended up showing off something right here and he says that it's a small vid showcasing some of the new pouch sounds and the new UMP reload sound changes, okay? So I'm assuming when they mean pouches, they mean this right here, or are they talking about the pouch where you slide your magazines into when you're done with them? I'm not too sure, but let's just take a gander. Pouches is the name of this video. Hopefully the audio's on. Okay, it's very faint, but you could definitely hear like the sound of somebody pulling out a mag from one of the pouches. I mean, I think that's what it's supposed to be and not the mag dump pouch, but I could be wrong. I actually just realized that the newer models don't have mag dump pouches. Um, I didn't notice a difference between, what did he say, the UMP? Yeah, the UMP. I'm gonna do a quick comparison real quick. But yeah, that's pretty much his little video here. And then Ali ended up releasing a couple of flanking maneuver experiments. Let's take a look at the first video here. I don't think this one has any audio. So he shoots. Then he goes running around the corner and then he flanks him. Then he shoots again and then he goes running back around the corner to another flanking position. I think he was over here behind this little barrier on the right side. But now you can see him, he's over there. So that's kind of cool. Definitely like the idea of the AI trying to flank me. They've tried to do that before, but it looks like they're trying to get a little more intuitive with it. So that's pretty cool. Moving on to the next thing here. Flanking maneuver two. This one does not have any audio. We're going to start it here. So he's just shooting him and he's constantly shooting him as he's walking around. And like he comes out of cover. See that? I like how the AI does that right there, like they hug the wall and do that type of stuff. Although it's still not perfect. It's coming back around to flank him from this side right here. Definitely do like that. By the way, what the hell is this monstrosity over here? It's so weird. But yeah, it definitely has like a lot of flanking maneuvers. He comes back and he hides behind that cover that was right over there. I like how they don't go to like the same position that they actually just go back and, you know, hide behind different cover to kind of like, you know, psych out the player a little bit. And then we have another flanking maneuver here. This is the third one. He starts off by walking around a corner. Guy sees him and he ends up shooting at him when he realizes that he's the bad guy. Then he walks back around here to see if he can get you from this side. Pretty dope. Oh, it's a pretty small video. Okay, simple one. All right, all right. Doesn't seem like any of these actually have audio. So this one starts out in front of the bad guy. Let's see what happens. It's obviously shooting at him. Shooting and shooting and shooting. And he's backing up as he's going around. Yep. Okay. It's a pretty good flank. My only issue with these videos is that it seems like he always knows where you are. See how he's like aiming and shooting through the walls and stuff? 
I mean, at least at least he didn't shoot through the walls. He was like going all the way around. But no, looking at all these bullets right here, it seems like he's actually doing that. That's probably my biggest issue is that the AI kind of just knows where you are, even if they're not looking at you. I think they should definitely make it so that the AI shoots where you were last known and not where you're going. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I like the flanking maneuvers. I just hate how they can see you. And uh, yeah, that seems to be it for Ali when it comes to flanking maneuvers. Let's push on to the next thing here. The next one is actually Reihaku showing off some of the newer weapons that were featured in the previous update but just in pictures now that we're actually getting some animations here the first one that we got here is the spc9 and i also think the m11 take a look at this bad boy Ooh. kind of bullet what kind of bullet is that Pretty dope, pretty dope. Moving on to the next one, we got the MP7A2. This is the one that the gun community definitely likes. I've actually seen people mod this into the game already, but now it's actually officially in here. Let's take a look at the nice ass animations. Come on, let me hear it purr. Yep. Nice. Pretty dope. I think they said that they were going to add like five weapons. Maybe more. I don't know. We only see about three here. But uh, yeah. So this is all the animations for the guns that they just made us look at. Up next, they have death animations from Ali again. Let's have a look-see. Ooh, I hit him in like the groin area. Suspect killed. Damn, see that again? The only thing that I kind of don't like about this is how he just like nonchalantly falls over. Like he got hit by a bullet. Like that should be like an impact. Like ooh, he's just like, oh, I guess I'm dead now. I like, will fall over really slow. Like, like where's that impact, yo? Maybe if it was a big guy, I could definitely see him like taking the hit and still kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, now I'll go down. But these guys look pretty small and slim, you know what I mean? Suspect killed. Not a bad animation, but I hope that we get more uh, impacts, you know? So we're in another blockout room with the second one here. There's a dead guy on the left side. Let's see how this death animation looks. Ooh, shot to the face. We've got a dead suspect. I mean, shot to the head like that, I don't think he would be moaning and groaning. Like, he dropped like a sack of potatoes, if I'm being honest. Like, I don't think that one really needed, like, an animation. He should have just dropped, you know? Like, these animations are pretty cool, but they need to, like, make sense, you know? Like, you shoot him in the head like that, he's just going down. He, he doesn't, like, stop and... Oh, hold on, let me just get into my animation stance. Oop. Moving on to the next one, here's the third one. Go ahead and start it. Now, see, that one had better impact. I like that one. He actually did a jump right there. Hold on. But a little bit of critique. It made it seem like he was supposed to get hit in the leg because his leg kind of gets thrown back right there. He was shot down here, you know? See his leg fall back? It even looks like he's reaching for his leg. I do like how he does, like, a kind of a jump right there and he, like, reaches for where he gets shot. That's pretty cool. Nice. Moving on to the next one. Up next, we got another one of these guys with a nice... I actually like that type of shotgun. It's the biker gang. I don't think we've ever seen the biker gang walking around, or at least I don't remember. So he shoots him in the leg here, it looks like. Wait, he was already shot in the leg? And he's kind of just like limping right there? I mean, I guess you can get killed by, you know, getting shot in the leg if they hit you in the specific artery and all that stuff. Out of all the animations, this one probably looks the most ragdoll. Like, I'm not even sure what animation you would do there if you were shot in the leg. But I guess that's the best they can do, I guess. Not too bad, though. Moving on to the next. This is death animation number five. Holy cow, we are going up. That's four. Take a look at this. Ooh. That guy probably doesn't have a jaw anymore. Talk reporting. Oh, that, that sound effect was a little late. 
Hawk reporting. Or early movie. Roger that entry team. Tag him. That's probably like the best animation. I've actually seen that one before on their Twitter like a long time ago, I think. Alright, moving on to the next one here. We got the sixth one, animation number six. Tag him, tag him, and keep moving. This animation to me is like the realization that bullets hurt. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to join this organization if I knew I was going to get shot. This is the animation where bad guys tend to realize, oh, guns hurt. Tag him and keep moving. Ah! Moving on to the next one here. It's another one of those biker gangs. Ow. Oh. Interesting. Um... To be honest, like, I don't know how to feel about these. They're not bad, but they definitely need work. I guess is the best way to describe them. I don't I wonder if we're gonna get these animations in the next update or if they're gonna, you know, keep these back so that they can keep working on them. I hope they keep working on them because I feel like a lot of these could be better. But anyways, let's move on from there. You got something from a polio. I'm not exactly sure what this is. It says ready or not development with a bunch of numbers, which I'm assuming are dates. Let's see what this is. We got some music in here. This is the Winterly Hills Hotel, that one map. Drop your weapon. Low light deployed. Oh. That man dead. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you get shot in the head like that, you're going to just drop like a rock. Like a sack of potatoes. That's how you're going to freaking die if you get shot in the head like that. All right. Well, I interrupted that. Let's see that again. Drop your weapon. Low light deployed. Okay, cool. I think this is the new pistol too, if I'm not mistaken. Nice. Moving on to the next thing. So I'm assuming that this is supposed to be like a trail for the bad guy. If he realizes that things are going south, he probably just like runs away, right? Or he goes to inform his buddies or something. I guess that's what this is showing off here. What weapon is this? Is that the 74U it looks like? No. Drop your weapon! We've got a dead suspect here. While I'm here, I kind of want to point out that fast food is starting to look a lot like Wendy's or a modern McDonald's. Not going to lie. Honestly, I don't even know what they were really trying to show off here, but I mean, that was actually kind of cool. Drop your weapon! We've got a dead suspect here. Nice. Good thing I waited the next day to upload this video because I ended up posting another couple of videos here that said that yes, death animations are interruptible. He shoots a guy and then he interrupts the animation as he's going down basically. Suspect killed. See the thing that doesn't make sense to me is that when you shoot him in the head, they should not be like... Well, I mean, then again, I've never, like, been shot in the head, so I don't know if you make a lot of noise after that. Interesting, nonetheless. Moving on to the next one, it says, this is how it looks on SWAT, so I guess SWAT's also gonna get death animations, too. So this is one of the SWAT guys getting shot. Put your hands up! Hands in the air! see your hands! Oh. Hands put hands your hands up. up! We've got an officer down. Hands, hands where up. I can see him! This is talk. Affirmative entry. Hands, hands where I can see them! Your hands. Get hands down! Up. Honestly, I know it's supposed to be like an immersive thing, but I feel like SWAT shouldn't like die. I feel like they should just look like they're injured on the ground. But I mean, I guess that's how it was in SWAT 4, so it's not a big deal to me if I'm being honest. Uh, show me your hat. Uh, now. Okay, what the heck? He was shot in the arm. It, mm, it looked like he grab, like went to grab for his chest, so that's a little weird. I will say that it is kind of cool how the SWAT actually turn on you and tell you to get down on the ground. It'd be funny if you could add like an animation where you could actually just get down on the ground and you get arrested by your own AI teammate. That'd be an achievement right there. But okay, interesting. <laughs> Not a lot of people in the Discord were happy to see something like this though, because obviously SWAT is more favored over the bad guys. To see something like this is shocking to them or something. Put your hands up. Hands in the air. See your hands. And I think that's pretty much it when it comes to mini dev updates. A lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool stuff. There was a little video that I remember Ali posting called Sex with Eli. I think it was supposed to be a joke, but it actually had like new dialogue for Eli. And I'll play it for you now. Done. Zipped up and ready to go. Door is open and ready when you are. I've got some bang for your buck. Busting down the door now. Ah! Oh, oh shit! Right behind you. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Ah oh, fuck! Ah! Oh, ah! 
I'm going! Ah, shit! So that was something that was shown off in the NDA Discord posted by Ali, I remember. Thought I'd share that with you guys. And there's another thing that they said to me. Kent Minsky actually talked to me in the regular Discord. He said, uh, hello, do. I told him, I don't think we've ever actually talked before. And he says, keep an eye on your email Monday, by the way. Ooh. Not sure what that means. Maybe another devlog? We shall see. Or maybe it's an actual update for once? A playable update? Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I'm not exactly sure how long this video is going to be. I imagine it's going to be around 8 minutes or so. But not entirely sure. They had a bunch of stuff going on behind the scenes. But, you know, it's obviously just getting leaked out. So I thought I'd just put it all together in one video so that you guys could check it out. And yeah, I think that's pretty pretty much everything i don't think there's anything else unless by the time that i upload this they're gonna freaking post something and i'm gonna be like are you freaking kidding me i just dropped this goddamn video but nope who knows whatever happens on monday happens on monday and uh yeah i will catch you in the next one Bye bye